This clip will familiarize you with the way change entries are created in the Change Manager palette. When a modification is made in the project documentation, and we want to keep track of it in revision management, we need to create a change entry for it. In this example, we've moved a wall. To create a change entry for this modification, select the element involved and click the Create New Change button in the Change Manager palette. The New Change dialog appears. There are four default fields that need to be filled for each change entry. You can fill in the ID and name fields to give an identification number and a description to the change. In this example, we've modified the T kitchen wall on Story 1, or the building's right wing, which is reflected in the name field. The last modified field is filled in by ARCHICAD based on your computer's system date and time. The last modified by field is also filled in automatically by ARCHICAD. In cases of solo projects, it contains the name of the user. In cases of teamwork projects, it contains the teamwork username you are logged into the shared project with. Neither of these two fields are user modifiable. Click the OK button to create the change. The change entry appears in the Changes panel of the Change Manager palette. The selected wall is now linked to the change and is listed in the Elements panel of the Change Manager when the change is selected in the Changes list. Every layout with placed drawings on it that show this wall will now have a revision entry automatically added to them by ARCHICAD, as we'll discover in greater detail in upcoming clips.